I picked up this adorable watering can at Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. It has a cute little mini mouse and a kitty cat on the front and it says that it's from Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival and on the little front it says celebrating 25 years. So cute. And I, the minute I saw it, I knew exactly what I wanted to put in it. I wanted to put some type of flower or topiary in it. And this is what I came up with. I mean, who wouldn't love to have a little bit of Mickey or Minnie in your house year round? This is super easy. A lot of this stuff is pre-made at the store. I found all of the supplies at Joann's Fabrics and Crafts. And if you want to know how to put it together, I'll show ya. Let's go. The supplies you're going to need are a wooden dowel. I chose a dowel that was one centimeter in diameter. You're going to need something to measure. You're going to need a drill and a one-half drill bit that looks like this. You're going to need a fake topiary, a large one for the head and two small ones for the ears. You're going to need a mason jar some packaged moss, and cardboard. This one came from the top of a shoebox. I don't want to make it permanent, so I'm using a mason jar as my base so that I can put different things later in this if I want or move my topiary to a different container. And so this is how I'm going to do it. Um, so I'm placing the mason jar inside. Now I'm going to line up my pole and I'm going to measure going to measure 15 and a half inches and I'm going to mark it with a pen. And now I'm going to go cut it using my saw. You can use a hand saw or an electric saw, whichever you're comfortable with. So now I have a 15 and a half inch long dowel and the next step is to drill a hole in the center of my mason cup using my drill bit and my drill. Let's move on to the Mickey head. So on two sides of the ball is the end of a cylinder. So the inside of this ball is a green cylinder and the ends are on either side. So I have chosen one side and I have plucked the greenery from these four like spigot, these four holders, and I have cut through so I can slide it on here all the way through. So I'm going to do that first. There we are. I am going to take my cardboard and I'm going to trace out the top. This is going to sit on top of the mason jar and I'm going to cover it with the moss. Cut it out. I am going to take my drill bit, I'm going to poke a hole, and I'm going to use this as a template. I might make it a little bit bigger just to be on the safe side because the moss will cover the hole. So now that I have my center, I'm going to take the E6000 and I'm going to glue the moss onto it until it's camouflaged. I'll show you, I'm going to leave a little bit of extra to camouflage, but I just need it detached from the rest of the stuff. Maybe some of these strays. So now I'm going to attach the Mickey ears. So on both of these little balls, there is a stem, a large stem, and I have found both of them. About where I want them to be, I took, I took about two or three sprigs out and in the little ball, I took about four sprigs out. And what I did is I found the long free stem on this and I just stuck it on one of these. I don't have to hot glue it or anything. And if you keep these, you can use it for a different craft project later if you change your mind. I've also added a little bit of hot glue to the bottom just so that it's not so slippery. Now I'm going to 
slide this on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a slit Now it's looking a little funky, but the mason jar will be all hidden um, once it's placed in here. And I'm going to store all the extra leaves so that when I pull this out, I know exactly where they're at <clears throat> and I don't lose them. Now I'm going to put it in the watering can. You can totally add little bird eggs and those little plastic birds that clip on. I thought a cute little butterfly, a clip-on butterfly, could act as a bow if you want it to be mini. There are so many options. I'm gonna keep this in here all year round and I'm gonna change it with the seasons. So in the summertime, I can put citrus slices in here or lemons to make it look more summery. In the fall, I can add a fall type bow to make it a fall mini. In the winter time, you can add Christmas bulbs to make it a Christmas Mickey. There are so many endless options. So get your creative juices going and make your own topiary. Super easy and super cute all year round. Bye.